Ooh, Ivan with a Tomb Room question. Ooh, we've been wanting to do this for years. Um, I still want to get you on one of these streams so that we can sort of do one together because I think we would have wonderful fights. Is there a way to link two comps so they're the same art with different effects applied? Like a symbol in Flash. So if you update one, it will update the other. Um, I, yes. Uh, let me just figure out exactly what you're asking and then I will try it figure out what that is as a symbol. Does that mean when you pull out two symbols and you like you give a blur to one and you give a, a transparency to the other? Is that what you mean? Because two comps is like combining something together. Whereas it sounds like you're asking about splitting something apart, this. So we've just got him on his own and I'll have two strings of it. So the first part, just so we can see them side by side is I'm gonna use an apply peg transformation, which is like a peg, but you can put it at the bottom of the chain. So I don't see them getting used that often for some reason. I personally really, really like them and I use them a lot because um, they do stuff like that. There you go. So, you know, one raw string, one that has movement in it. Uh, and because there's two strings, they can do different stuff. So this one will glow out by a factor of 40. What's that gonna look like? Holy cow, uh, use source color. So that one's glowing, the other one's not. And the other one will do, what's it? I don't know, we'll just give him a grayscale, easy. Yeah. Is that what you were asking? Well, like in Photoshop, when you have a smart object that can be updated live, but can be duplicated and have different effects applied to each iteration. Yeah. I think, the, d tell me if I'm off on the wrong track or if I'm getting closer, I'll, I'll take another stab at it if not. Ivan continues to ask, uh, because that's what I want. One comp that can be treated differently, maybe I'll ask you in our upcoming dual stream. It still sounds like you're asking for the demonstration I just gave with the black and white one and the glowy one. That's two versions of the th same thing being treated differently, right? But if you're talking about the comp, do you mean like everything above this can be treated different? The, this is sort of the tricky uh, conversation because like, Symbols are really cool. I love them. And I think one reason why people do like them is because they are this really interesting one size fits all solution and people push them as far as they did because they just, they're like duct tape, right? They have so many different uses. Whereas in here, there is several different ways that you can tell different things to communicate to each other or ignore each other. And it takes a bit more understanding to know what all those different systems are and which one is good for the moment. Oh, is this going back to Ivan's question? Like, can you use things grouped into a composite like a symbol where you want to not just pull out a second chord, but you want to have a copy of the whole unit. Like to take all of this stuff like this and then copy and paste it over here and have different things come to it? Is that what we're getting at? Or am I getting my wires crossed by even connecting those two conversations together? Uh, you have some falling ducks, some glowing, some spinning, some flipping, etc. If you change the duck to a chicken, it will change them all to chickens. Ah. Thanks for watching. Consider following my Twitter for upcoming stream times and topics. Hey, maybe your question or suggestion or whatever will become a video topic of its own, like this one. Previous unedited full streams, as well as any relevant working files if there happens to be any, are available to my lovely patrons. Links for all that stuff are in the description. Yay! Okay, bye.